welcome back to the first video of 2024 it has been bitterly cold out here and the reason it's taken me so long to get out here in 2024 is we've been sick christmas went good i hope you all had a great christmas uh christmas went good but we all got sick after that so we've been kind of laid up and trying to get some energy back but i started this hatchet right around christmas time same design as those two over there i'm not gonna bore you sorry I'm not going to get you a little closer, is not I? I'm not going to bother showing you the cutting process. I've already cut this one out, obviously. But I do have to shape it a little more. I'm not happy with that. I did go out and get a new brass wheel for my bench grinder so that we can polish it up a little better. And we're going to put this thing here to use so we can get a decent finish on it. But that is also going to help in the shaping. Let's get to it. Trying to get the top flat. See that little bit of black right there? That tells me it's not flat yet. When that goes away, this will be leveled off. there we got the we got rid of the black there a couple little dots right there i'm sure you can see that that's got to go away too but that's going to come up with the sanding so now i know that the top of this is flat we're going to do the rest of this so that it goes flat and we're going to do the same thing on the bottom in the center here right where the cutout is you can see a bunch of little striations that's because i used a file to get that as smooth as i could sitting in one spot. You do that, it's going to cut a groove into here so you guys keep it moving back and forth. I'll finish this up and I'll get back to it. I bought this little sander at Harbor Freight probably about 10 years ago. And it has served me well ever since without any problems whatsoever. I think I paid about $30 for it. a little bit warm here so we don't want to get heated up too much so i've got the back end rounded off the other thing i want to do is i want to put a little bevel on the back side here on the bottom be different from the top the top's just going to be straight on around but the bottom here we're going to put a bevel on that why because it can now you can use that sander to get a decent bevel started here like i did i'm not sure how well the camera's picking that up but it's not really enough and you can't get it you know a nice line going across there to differentiate between the between the back side and the bevel so 
it's got kind of a arc to it and I don't think it's picking it up but we're gonna use a file to knock this down a little bit more and keep everything so that you can Not bad. And we got the bevel on the back. We got the corners all rounded off nicely. This is now flat and square. As is this here. I'm going to do a little bit more up in here, but I don't. I'm going to do a little bit more up in here, but I'm not going to bore you with that. Right now, we're going to put it on a wire wheel and see if we can clean all this up just a little bit. Here's where we end up with a little better finish than what it did look like. But obviously, it's going to take some sanding. Cleaned up pretty good. Now, this is pretty much done with the exception of this right here. What we're going to do now, I'm going to work on the handle a little bit here. This is a handle that I had started, never finished. It's some of that nice, beautiful Turkish walnut. Let's see if we can do something with it here. Alright, here's our basic shape. Not a whole lot of rake in the handle here, but that's alright. This is kind of what I'm going for. A little bit of a grip on the bottom. Fits on there pretty snug. Well, it is late. It's dark. I need to go to bed. I'll see you all in the morning. It is the next day, and we are about to finish this build. It's a brisk one out here this morning. Good thing I left the heat on last night. So here's where we left off. We've got the handle just about down to where I want it. I'm going to thin this out a little more in here. And then we got to do my favorite thing. Sanding. I hate sanding. And then the only other thing we're going to have to do here. Is like I showed you. Like I showed you yesterday. This here has got to get smoothed out. Make that looking all purdy. Alright, I decided to take a little bit more out of here, plus 
I cheated and that flapper just took away a lot of the uh, mess that was in here so I don't think it's gonna be it for the head other than a final sand but now can you tell I'm stalling because I don't want to get into the sanding on this I just don't like sanding it just gets all over the shop it makes everything a mess but it's got to be done and I'll get this knocked out and I'll get right back to you Thank God that's going to be it for sanding. I get dust. Sorry about that. See, I get dust everywhere, all over my camera, all over everything. Anyway, here we are. So, look in here. Look at these little lines. You see that right there? These little lines right here? Those are cuts from the sander. Same over here. There's a little bit there. There's a little bit right in here. We're going to leave those there. I mistakenly left some of those cuts in the other hatchet that I built. And when I oiled it up, it looked really cool it actually matched in there like it was supposed to be there um, these are not made to production standard I don't want it to be production standard I want it to actually look like it's handmade without it looking like a clown made it uh, that's my goal don't want to be a clown but right now we're gonna take you over to the bandsaw we're gonna cut the top for the wedge As you see here, we got our cut going right down the middle, not quite to the bottom. Now we're going to use a piece of cherry and cut us out a wedge. All right, finally, the time has come to hang the axe head. Are you ready for this? I know I certainly am. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I gotta put the wedge in, I gotta do all I can edit that out. So what this means is my approach angle here is no bueno. But we don't care at this point, so we're gonna make it work one way or another and uh, we might have to use a little bit of persuasion, shall we say. More than one way to skin this cat. I told him I wasn't going to play nice and here we are so this is the edge we got we got a nice tight fit all the way around a little bit of a gap in the front there but tight over here and tight around the back now the top is going to spread out when I put the wedge in and that's what's going to go in now crusty I knew a guy named Crusty once. He was actually my boss. Not wanting to work. Don't make me start persuading you too, because I got no problem doing it. There we go. The old drill bit trick. Alright, we are going to get a healthy amount of glue on our wedge we're going to put it on both sides I'm guessing that's pretty healthy I want to cover the entire side of the wedge I don't want I don't leave any little gaps there I, you know some people glue these in some people just put them in um, you know I don't I've always glued them, so that's what we're going to go with. Tell me the best part of this thing, picking the glue off your fingers when you're done. Just saying. I know you all think that. I'm going to 
get this wedge started. You got to use the biggest hammer you can find. Once it knows you ain't playing around, then you can downgrade your hammer. All right, and there we have it. We've got the wedges a little bit crooked. I'm not going to worry about that because when this dries up, I'm going to put it on a bandsaw and cut this off. All in all, didn't turn out too bad. Next thing we got to do is uh, break out Exxon and get the handle welded up. Welded? No, we're not welding the handle. We're going to oil the handle. We're not going to weld it, you big dummy. If you don't recall the last time I did this, I dumped <laughs> this all over my bench. I mean, it wasn't an overly big deal, but, you know, I just, a mess I didn't want to clean up. So, we're going to be a little more careful today. Let's get some oil on this handle. Oh, does that look nice? I know, all you professional woodworkers are out there and are saying, what in the world is he doing? You finish your wood the way you want, I'll finish my wood the way I want. I did not. You know what I mean. I think we better leave that alone. But, look at this. Isn't that just a beautiful piece of wood? That is awesome. Get down to the bottom here. It's always a relief when you get down to the oiling part. Because then you know the only thing left to do is put an edge on it and cut some wood. I think we're done. There we go. I had to find the dirtiest towel I could just to prop it up on. So look at this. This is awesome. Now those little cuts that I left in there, you can just barely see them in there. Some over here, some over there. Uh, my hope is is that there's some up in there. My hope is that in time, those will end up being a character piece. That's that's the goal here. And I ended up cutting the top all the way down. It just seemed to look better with a flush. Put a little bit of an edge on it, not too much, because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet, other than maybe put it over there with the other ones. But that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Again, it was a rough start to 2024 for our family. Uh, I'm sure we're not the only ones. A lot of people got sick over the holidays. Uh, please hit that subscribe button down below. It helps us out. Uh, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Uh, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, it's your problem. <laughs> uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Oh, remember, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Hey, Jen, I got you all